Hey guys, and welcome back to Flirt. I hope that you're having a good start to your week. And look at this face. You haven't seen this in a while, have you? Mm. So if you don't know, this is my girlfriend, Kylie. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and I'm here with her today because we are going to talk about how in the next couple years, same-sex couples could actually have children. Biological children, to be exact. Researchers at Cambridge University have made a breakthrough in their long research for same-sex couples to where within the next few years it could potentially become a way for LGBT couples to have biological children together. And this idea is something that we have actually talked about because we would have cute little babies. From my perspective, I think it's an absolutely fantastic breakthrough because I think for a lot of LGBT couples, this could be a whole new start for acceptance. You won't have to find outside sperm donors or have to worry about adoption, even though this option is probably going to be really, really expensive. Yes, the way that this whole process will work is that um, I think it was Cambridge that was doing uh, two egg cells that were, one of them was transformed into a sperm cell so then they could mesh or they took genetics from one egg and put it in the next so that way the genetics would even across the board. But they're not saying that this is just limited to same female couples. It's sounding like even uh, gay men can have biological children. Um, a sterile straight couple. Well, they already have stuff like that, though. It's because, well, I guess that's true. I mean, it, this I know there's certain procedures that they can do for sterile couples, but I know a lot of it is usually like egg donation or sperm donation so this might create a new way for them to be able to still keep all the genetics intact I don't really know I haven't really looked into that aspect but I think it could be a potential possibility so that couples can still do that if they are sterile so how does this make you feel knowing that within the next couple of years which I would like to assume that we will be engaged, if not married, by that point. I mean, how does it make you feel knowing that after that, once we have like a bajillion dollars, <laughs> you need another job, <laughs> that we could have biological children? This is kind of cool. You think it's kind of cool? Yeah. I know talking to a few of my uh, fellow gay friends about this possibility, um, it's obviously very exciting within the LGBTQ plus community because like people who are transgender for instance can now have biological children and it won't compromise with their gender identity. Um, we can actually have kids that are biologically both ours even though our kids are pretty much screwed on genetics so to my future children. Sorry! I think even with this newfound research, I don't think it's going to really affect, like, adoption rates or um, the amount of people that will still do sperm donors. And, and I think from both of our points, um, I don't think it's going to affect, like, if we'll adopt or if we'll, like, foster children. I think regardless of how we have children I think it'll at the end of the day be still our children I think that this advanced research could be a very big break in the LGBT community and even with straight couples I think it's exciting that this is happening in our generation because a lot of um, states are starting to recognize same-sex couples and their children unless you live in a state that allows marriage freedom but you know even though it's supposed to be a religious freedom act it's discrimination sorry so if you're really excited about this discovery with us give this video a thumbs up in the comments below I want to know if you think this is a good idea if you think that 
maybe this is something that you would try if you are a same-sex couple or not a same-sex couple or whatever. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see me every Tuesday and check out the rest of my wonderful vloggers. Have a great rest of the week, you guys, and I will see you next Tuesday. Love you, babies. All the babies. All our 11 children.